Hello everyone, welcome to another Infinite Magic Raid video. Uh, today I'm going to be focusing on Zia and the Sword Harbor team for this particular faction. As you can see, I'm about to take on uh, Stage 23 from the uh, Faction Abyss. This team is very good, like this setup is very good. I'm going to be showing you my presets, uh, attack pattern and all of that. Uh, a build at the end of the video but yeah this team can do 23 quite comfort quite comfortably <laughs> and this team can actually do 24 because this is the same team as set up to be 24 but i just found that for farming and on auto uh, 23 works they just like my last video i talked about how some setups work like 100 percent in specific fights and other fights maybe 80 percent so yeah, if you are willing to take that risk, of course you can go for 24. So let's just start with 23. Maybe, maybe we might showcase 24 and see if that will work out. But I'm pretty confident that 23 is going to work out. So yeah, let's just start the battle. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully, I am not put to shame because I'm really confident in this team and I've been using, uh, I've been farming 23 for a while throughout this uh, anniversary period. So let's just enable auto. Let's go. Yeah, so you see Nask, uh, I'm glad that AI is wise enough to take out Nak or I don't know how it's Nakashama or something like that. That first guy that was one-shotted uh, because if you don't take him out as early as you can, it's going to cause you a lot of problems. You end up taking out your own characters. But you can see we're just uh, eating through the opponents, easy peasy. Sometimes AI can be spot on and know the exact first character to focus on. At other times, AI can be really stupid, but I think in this particular faction, AI is able to target the specific character you are fighting against. And yeah, you can see that uh, with 37 seconds, we are done with waves. Uh, so the major issue with this fight is the main boss. And this main boss that keeps laughing at you, <laughs> this main boss, he is able to easily one-shot your character. So if you don't like, you don't want to go up to 200 tons with this guy. Trust me, you don't want to because he just keeps getting stronger like most bosses in the game and is able to focus one your main damage dealer. So that's why in this match, uh, Rista is quite important because it will help to uh, shield your main damage dealer. So even if you are unable to get the whole three stars, you are still able to defeat him and uh, protect your main damage dealer. So you can see pretty easily 23 was defeated. So let's just try out 24. Yeah, so this is 24, exactly the same preset, the same attack pattern. Let's see what we can do and see how good this team will be against 24. I, I think I don't know why I wasn't farming 24. I think I wasn't getting 100% guaranteed uh, rates against 24. But like I said, 23, very easy, always guaranteed win against 23. And yeah, if I can win this match, maybe I should actually try farming 24 for a while and see if that has changed. Another thing too that helps is that when you are fighting arena, you know your stats go up. So right now I'm on diamond three, if I'm not mistaken. I will have to correct me. I will have to correct myself after the match. But if you're on diamond, you have more stats than when you're on platinum. That's from playing arena. So I think those things actually affect in the game. Many people will think that those things are not important, but they are important. When you rank up in arena, you're able to get more stats, and fighting in other modes can seem easier because basically you have you've had increase in stats. So, uh, yeah, I think I should be able to take on 24. I should be able to take, maybe not 3 stars, but I should be able to, able to take on 24 with this team. So, you can see that Zia actually is quite good. A lot of people sleep on Zia, think that maybe she's not that good. Of course, she's a direct damage dealer, not one of the best. She's not Lucifer or something, but I'm uh, hoping she doesn't get one-shotted here. <laughs> okay, Rista is gone. I think I've seen why I don't fight 24. So, 24 is not really guaranteed, but... I feel with what is left, I can still take out 24. I feel 24 is still very much possible. The boss has not had a lot of turns yet, so it's still not that OP just yet. But uh, let's see what we can do. Yeah. This boss, I, what I hate about him, he just, he just keeps laughing. He just keeps laughing. <laughs> like, it's like, don't make me laugh, uh, Shao Kahn boss in Mortal Kombat. Yeah, very nice. So you see, I can take out 24, but probably won't always get the three stars so and uh, farming sometimes if zia was taken out there then you are done so yeah yeah you can do 23 you can do 24 maybe you can even push 25 i've not tried to push 25 ever since uh, 25 frustrated me for a while so i just left it or maybe i may give that a try at a later date but 
that's uh, for that you can see this team can take on 23 and can take on 24 and you can see even the record times which is great for farming but i would suggest if you have my stats then you go for 23 if you have better stats than i do maybe higher exclusives on your uh, characters than i do then maybe you could farm 24 conveniently but for me i'm just going to stick with 23 for the time being so let's just check out the presets and check out you see, I even saved it with 22 because I this was the first time I lifted the team with 22 and I saved it with 22. But later I found out that I could easily do 23 as well. So, so for Ben Austin, this is uh, first in the first wave, this is preset, uh, second wave. Uh, for the first wave, yeah, you want to, yeah, just basically have everything accessible. Second wave, you want to save this for the final fight, save the second active skill for the final fight, and third wave. Yeah, you, do, you don't need this because this uh, active skill one is this regal might is for crowd control so you don't really need that anymore by the time you get to the final boss so you just need the active skill too uh for a start these are the stats i'm working with with ben austin as usual not great i'm sure those of you that have been watching my videos could easily see i don't have the best stats i don't have the best equipment but somehow i'm able to i work my way through the different content in the game yeah so i probably would enjoy it as much as those that have the max start exclusives and all of that but yeah you have to make do with what you have uh yeah uh mastery surge aura for this guy to boost uh sigmund's mastery uh the emblem yeah this is the emblem i have for ben austin so i believe that covers ben austin let's go to catherine for wave one uh, just like Ben Austin, have everything accessible, but with two, make sure you lock out Solid Guardian and High Spirited because you won't need them for the with two. With two will be over pretty quickly, you really don't need that much protection. And I believe you'll be doing some crowd control as well uh, from Ben Austin and from Rista. So, yeah, you just save these two for the final stage because the boss is going to try to one shot your main damage dealer at the beginning of with three. So, you need to make sure you have Solid Guardian and High Spirited available at the beginning of with three. So that's what you use for wave three. Uh, for the stats, these are my Catherine stats. Effected, mm, didn't really put much on that, but I seem to land my uh, feeble quite a lot, even with just thirty-five percent effected. Then of course, speed is the constant thing here. It's most important. See that my speed is not that great. Uh, I've seen people have like three K speed, uh, two thousand eight speed. I only have two thousand two hundred, but it's enough for this stage. But of course, why you are getting to the higher stages, you definitely need more speed on that character. Uh, yeah, so these are my equipment. I, I always try to say this because somebody will see this. Oh, this guy has a full set of legend. Well, you should have as well, unless you broke it. You should have a full set of legend if you defeated the normal campaign mode. So I got all of this from normal campaign. So anybody that defeated normal campaign would have this exact set that I have on Catherine. So please don't come for me in the comments uh speeds uh, healing effects and hp then i'm using combat vanguard aura this is just at level one all the legend auras i have are at level one i've never i can't take anyone to level two because for me to take one to level two i'd rather get that same one for a different character for me i find more value in that uh, but of course if you are an og you are a will that is not a problem for you this uh this is the emblem i'm working with for catherine now to Rista, wave one save your crowd control for two because you're going to have protection on wave one so you see you have protection here then you no need for crowd control but then you get to wave two now you need crowd control and you disable protection you see how the dynamic works between Rista and catherine so and for wave three uh yeah start with uh, this so that you can focus one of those subs and, uh, yeah this is just the setup that works for me at this point at least up to 24. Now, these are the stats on Rista. Uh, Rista is one character that needs a lot of stack, uh, stats. Just like, what's the name of this bleeder? This mythic bleeder? Mm, I've forgotten her name. <laughs> but the mythic bleeder, you guys know who I'm talking about, that needs a lot of stats. This is that kind of character. Because it needs attack. Because the more attack he has, the more attack the character he is supporting, in this case, Zia, would have. So he, with this attack, he is going to boost Zia's attack. Of course, he needs speed so that he will be among the first to run so that he can apply his crowd control and uh, crit rates and crit damage well they recommended it and i have it by mistake <laughs> actually quite didn't target i didn't i don't think i really target having, having crit rate i think i just have one active file that gives me crit rate but 
yeah, he could do some damage because of the attack he has. A, well, he could do some damage and help you clear uh, some smaller health. Yeah, the, that smaller health could be the difference between you making winning a fight and losing a fight. So yeah, this this is not compulsory, but if you t happen to have it, then just leave it there. Uh, effect it 114 needs that so that he can land his stones as often as possible. Uh, for the active fight, yeah, I have crit rate here. That's why it is that high. But honestly, like I said, if your Rista is not that strong, maybe it's uh, E1 Rista or E0 Rista, you may not even need this crit rate. Just put HP here and so that it, it will be more tanky. Uh, effect it, of course. You see, I already have 5 stars. This could be more. I could get 3% more effect it by having 6. And I think I should do that pretty soon. But I think this 71 speed will be difficult to replicate. So I don't know. <laughs> that might change. Uh, speed, of course, very important for him. You want him to be as fast as possible. So that I can apply his crowd control. These are uh, my uh, this my my equipment. Nothing special there. See, I don't have some four stars, five stars. I don't have any six star equipment on him. So you can see that guys in this game, you don't. It should just take you more time. That's just the truth. Uh, those that are spending a lot of money, they will finish content in the month that should take you maybe three months to complete. But you will complete it eventually. So if you don't have that money to spend or you are just not willing to spend the money, don't feel bad or don't feel that, oh, because someone else completed it in a month and you are taking three months, it's, uh, don't allow that affect you. Enjoy the game in the way you can enjoy the game. I've rambled on too much. Recovery Horn Aura. Yeah. Because he, I, to help him heal up teammates because he has two tons within a turn. Yeah, because when he does this unbreakable part, he gets one more turn, so you can see that you will heal up your characters a lot with this. Then the emblem, this is the emblem I'm going with. You see, most of my emblems for my support and defense characters are going to be ending in speed because in this game, speed is everything. You need speed, need for speed. <laughs> Sigmund, yeah, it's a bit of protection, a bit of damage, just a little bit of here and there. So, for the first wave, I disable searing pain. Second wave enables searing pain to add a bit of more protection just in case something goes wrong. It's like a backup protection. This is not much, it's like 20% shield, not much. Then wave three, just normal the standard of active skill two, active skill one. Yeah, these are the stats, not great actually. Uh 562 health for for HP daughter. This is low. You need something more than this. Uh effect hit it is six percent. Mastery 97%. So you see, yeah, I'm not uh, although in, for this guy he has 100 percent on all his uh I think apart from his basic, I think his special will have 100 percent chance to land his uh HP burn. So his effect it can it, I can get away with 86 for most fights. Uh but yeah, at later stages 86 will snow to cut it. These are my equipment. You can see on that set of five stars. <laughs> I yeah uh, I like I said see even not just five stars uh, level twelve you see that I don't even have the best of builds but like I said work with what you have mastery effected speed five stars <laughs> uh, mastery expert yeah that's also nice to have to boost his damage and uh, this is uh, his emblem now for Zia with one this is it. Standard. In fact, I applied overall. Yeah, this is just basically it. I don't the way she works. You can't really time her specials too much because her basic is going to make her specials free. So you can't really time it. So I just basically leave the default. Yeah. So focus on having concentration increased and broken snow as as, as the second. Uh, yeah. So that's it. Although I I would argue that you can. I do this for some of my presets. I give broken snow, I make it one, then I make concentration two, but I make sure that at the beginning of the turn, at the beginning of the wave rather, she starts with concentration. That's what this means, start with uh, concentration, but moving forward, focus on broken stone, uh, snow. So this, maybe this would even help me be more consistent on 24, but for now, I'm just going to stick with what I'm working with. But yeah, that other pattern, I use it for some other content in the game. So you could, could give that a try and see if that works out for you. But for now, since I'm pretty sure of this, I'm going to stick with this one. Anyways, uh, let's quickly check out the stats. Yeah, this 
my character that has the highest attack for some reason 41k attack i don't have any other character in this game that has 41k attack i think the next level should be need who is even for exclusives has 36k attack so yeah she has like 41k attack which is great 61 percent crit which is okay because our concentration increase is going to give her 40 percent crit rate so she's basically going to be having 100 percent in battle so 60 is what you should go for here yeah, and crit damage 281 she's going to get additional i believe 50 or 60 from concentration increase and she's going to get additional as well from rista i think 50 percent from rista as well so she's getting like an additional 100 percent crit damage to this so she's going to be doing a whole lot of damage combined with a high attack combined with the attack from rista god this character that's why she smashes uh through this faction at least up to 24 so she's quite amazing i really enjoy using this here she's one of my first legendaries as well so I have a very soft spot for Zia in this game. Uh, so boss Slayer Aura, which gives me I think 10% or 15% additional direct damage. It's quite good against bosses. Uh, that's for the aura, for the emblem. This is my Zia emblem. This works for me in all content and yeah, it's very fun. The equipment, five stars, uh slay set that gives me crit rate, crit damage, and crit damage attack and speed this could be attack as well but i just like to have more speed on her uh, but if i really want to push for more attack like at least on that maybe 2k more attack but i just felt i didn't need that because i have rista but yeah speed or attack would do well for you here yeah. that's about it for the video guys if you enjoy my video smash the subscribe button i will see you guys on the next one